Welcome to the build video for the AI-010 triple attenuating multiplier module. Uh, I'm going to start with the jacks. We're going to build this in eight minutes, quick style. Uh, I like using a, in this case, it's a, a candle holder, a votive candle holder uh, to raise the PCB up off the ground, but provide me a flat surface. And then what I'm going to do is just only solder the ground lugs, the ones that stick out to the side to just place it in place. And once I have those going top to bottom so I don't get in my way as I solder down the module, I'm gonna be able to use that as a support to put in the potentiometers and then rest the panel on that and then solder it all in in one go. This wasn't uh, actually going to be a module at first. I was just kind of hand making them and using my own uh, AI001 multiple faceplates on them. And then some people said, hey, I would, I would buy that slash make that. You should put it out. So I'm putting it out as a, an actual product, which means you get a build video for it. Now watch me take this right out of frame like an idiot. There it goes. Okay, now I've got all the ground pins in place and gravity did the work of making sure they're nice and flush to the PCB. So at this point, what I'm doing is putting in the B100K linear potentiometers. You can use A100K if you want, but if you're controlling voltage, you might find the linear response of a B taper more favorable. That's what I ship them with. Let me get the sky in focus. Put those on and then I put the, the faceplate on and then I'm going to put on just a couple nuts at first um, just to make sure it's uh, tight enough. The thing with these um, tall trimmer pots, um, as they're called, as opposed to the metal ones, is that they're not fastened to the panel itself. So you need to make sure that they're fastened really straight to the rear of the PCB. If they're out of alignment, then not only will you have uh, tension on the shaft as you uh, move it back and forth and rotate it, um, but uh, you'll actually, you know, wear down that plastic uh, pot over time just by wearing it on, on the aluminum. Um, what I'm doing is making sure that the potentiometer went in place. Uh, it moves smoothly, and then I'm clamping the uh, the sides into the PCB, and then I am uh, using the the wire strippers to kind of crimp against the top. And now I'm just going to quickly solder from the top, going all the way down, hitting the jack, then the pot, then the jack, then the pot, then the two jacks, the pot, and then the final output. The top jack goes into that top potentiometer, which then uh, basically divides the voltage into the following output jack. Uh, the next potentiometer is actually taking a a multiplied version of that first input jack and then uh, lowering the output on the preceding jack and then sorry then the third input which is the jack 
second to the bottom, uh, is also normal to that first input jack. So it could be a one in, three out multiple, as well as a uh, switching attenuator. Attenuator, it's not an attenuator. You can buy this now as a built and tested unit by me with the one year warranty or as a full kit with all the parts you need, including the mounting screws or as a PCB panel combination. And then you can source your own parts. Just go to AISynthesis.com or one of our fine retailers. And that's about it. You've got uh, two and a half attenuators and two HP in under seven minutes. Thanks for watching.